It's almost like I'm a real boy. I've just been in here totally doing stuff and I forgot to include y'all. I'm so sorry. What's my battery situation look like? Got a little bit. <clears throat> okay. So I pulled off. Well, I'm bring it down here for a second. I pulled off my old plug here, and uh, which is press in, right? The the wires just you don't even uncut them, and you just press them in, and they get squeezed and cut by those metal tongs. And uh, oh, let me turn that off. And uh, so I got new plugs. I'm eventually I gotta do this in the entire house, right? Pull out every single plug because these are dangerous. Um, but in actuality, I probably won't do every single plug. But like the kitchen, I have to do all those. Like they got most of them already pulled out of the wall, right? I just haven't replaced them. It's actually gonna be the first plug I've replaced. I replaced switches, I replaced lights. <clears throat> this is the first plug I've ever replaced in this house or any other. No, untrue. I've already replaced one plug in the kitchen. What am I thinking? Um, it's just, I guess I'd been so long I forgot. All right, so I'm just cleaning up the ends here so you can see where the wires are cut, where it was pressed in between the things. So I'm just creating more wire because I got lots of excess. And uh, yeah, and then I got to go to the store unless actually I'll probably get enough here that I can just sacrifice some of this wire because I just want a connection to go to another plug um, across the wall there. And, uh, and look how look how deep the other closet goes. I I didn't quite uh I didn't quite hit the stud, did I? But uh Yeah. I'll have to drill a hole drill a hole in this stud and this stud and then run the wire through. Oh yeah, I got so much wire. So yeah, because it just needs to go to basically here, and I'll cut a hole in this big piece of sheetrock for a plug on this side, and one run on the other side. Because I want to, I want to build, I want to put charging. I want to make this a charging station when I do this closet, and uh, I'm just going to paint in here. I'm not going to make it fancy. I'm going to paint it. I'm going to trim it out, and uh, of course fix the ceiling. I mean it's fixed. I just got to put the sheetrock up. Um, and then yeah, just gonna put a basic, some shelves on here, maybe some cubbies, have a little charging station, a little plug in at the bottom for all my, all my charging things, all my cameras, my drones, all my everything. So they're not all over the house. I have a dedicated spot for them. So that's the plan here. So see if it works out. I identified the hot by turning on the breaker and testing it. <coughs> I'm got them all cleaned up. And I'm gonna see if I can use this one and just do the boxes adjacent to each other. And uh, so I've got a basic outline here and I'll level it off. You know what? I'm overthinking everything. As long as I'm pigtailed in, I mean, as long as I'm tied into the hot, you know, I don't need I don't need a bunch of wires going into the box. I just need one wire coming in, and so I just got that. So that's good. Okay, that's pretty tight. It ate into my drywall at the bottom. Which I don't love, but she tightened in there, so I should be fine. Okay. I didn't include you this because there's no light in here. And there's no room for you to see. The wall box in. Got this wired up. Just got to put the faceplate on. And I got just this one set of pigtails. I'm not pigtails. Dang it. This one uh, piece of Romex coming out, and I should be able to tie that into my hot right there. I should be golden. 
That should be all I need. Well, I'm gonna have to sacrifice, I have to sacrifice a piece of this to pigtail off, to pigtail this one and this one. You'll see. vacuum in this back plug and if uh, if nothing blows and the vacuum turns on everything should be kosher well it appears to have power and no sparks oh I'm awesome I should totally check this other side though I should totally check this other side just to be doubly sure Although it has to work because it's it's plugged there too. I had to take out the smallest slivers off this sheetrock. I don't know if it was slightly different then. I don't know if I didn't butt it all up against the wall on my other piece, but yeah. So it's too hard to do with a razor because I can't really lay it down. I don't have any room in here. So I went through with this and chopped all the edges. But I, you know, that's how I cover up all my mistakes is with trim anyway. <laughs> I'm just gonna trim over it. And now I'm about to put my little hole in here for my box. I think you're actually supposed to uh, leave these little tabs in, and I generally do. I have my switches and everything, but I ain't got a lot of room to these wires. I'm using those funky connections, so I just ripped the tabs off, and then I burned the plastic and squished it so it's not sharp. So the edge looks jagged because I told you I had to hit it with the multi-tool. And uh, but once all my edge work is done, my trim work, it'll look great. My door casings, all that stuff, I won't even be able to tell. And uh, yeah, got power on both sides. I'm so proud of myself. It's almost like I'm a real boy. Almost. 